So look at verse 15. You look at that third to the last line and you'll notice that there are three woes. Woe, woe, woe. That's a, that's a unique thing that happens in Scripture only three times, ironically, um, and it, it becomes a superlative. This is the, the, the ultimate cursing, woe, woe, woe. In case if you missed it, that's as woe as you can go. It doesn't get any woer than that, right? <laughs> this is superlative. It only happens two other times in Scriptures. A little challenge for you, go and find those other two places and, and look at all three of the, the triple woes and the groups of people that receive the triple woe from the Lord. In this case, verse 15, the wise, the learned, and the rich that are puffed up in the pride of their hearts and they preach false doctrines and all those who commit whoredoms and pervert the right way of the Lord. Woe, woe, woe unto them. It's those groups that actually cause so much of the division later in Nephite history where they actually create secret combinations. It's all these different gradations of society, those who have money, those who have wealth, those who have those all have this learning. education. And it's funny because we work at a university and we're trying to help people learn. There's lots of ways of learning. It doesn't happen to have to happen only at a university. But we have to always be careful. Is our learning meant to benefit only us, or is it meant to serve and bless the lives of others? And the question is, are we using the resources God has given us, if it's wealth, if it's wisdom, is it learning, is it to build his kingdom, or is it to build our own kingdoms? 